is my most hated quest dungeon of the game. It honestly is, and... You're gonna think I'm crazy after seeing what we're gonna have to go through in the next quest. <coughs> but, um... <laughs> but, um... I don't like this quest, uh, the pyramid, just for the fact that... It's pretty much impossible to do without any sort of healing, magic, or potions. There is a general degrading of the health, which is 16 for me. I've heard that if you, uh, um, if you have low con, or whatever it is, uh, it can go lower. But that also means that you would have less HP. But, um, yeah, I sort of died in here a while ago, and we missed some of the, uh, original message to that. Basically, he wants us to find a book that's, uh, extra warm somewhere. And are you noticing what I'm doing? I'm actually walking on the spikes out there. It's very weird. As, um, you only get hurt if you walk on the spikes while they're down. It's a very odd thing that's going on there. I guess, uh, you don't get hurt if you step on spikes directly, but get horribly maimed if uh, you step on a spot and a spike goes through your foot or something. I don't know. There's one part in particular of this pyramid that we're going to see later on that is just ridiculous. And quite frankly, there's no way you would get through this without any sort of uh, potions or healing magic. I'd say it right now, it's impossible. It's impossible to do this quest without any sort of healing items. Not to mention the uh, traps that you cannot avoid on the ground that will pop up as soon as you step on them. And sometimes they're just hidden, so you have no idea where they are until you're already stepping on it. Like that one, and that one. rather have really strong, aggressive enemies in here than all these traps. See what I mean? There's just traps hidden in the ground. No way to be able to tell where they are. Like right there. In there, in there. Wow, that almost killed me. <laughs> this uh, spot right here will become important later on. So I'll have to come back to this. It's kind of odd, because uh, the traps in this room that are supposed to come up, as you can see the lines there, they're uh, not coming up. I don't know what's up with that. For some reason, the traps don't come up in that room. Neither do they in this room, I don't think. some sort of glitch or what? Because I have no idea. Alright. This is the room that I hate. Look at this. This is ridiculous. And you know it's you know it's gonna be the correct path too. The pathway through all the spikes. That's just ridiculous. Alright, we're in a room with worms. And these guys are pretty powerful. Good thing, as we do not have to beat them to get the book. The book is actually in the corner of this room. At least 
least it should be, if I remember correctly. There should be a book somewhere around here. Right there, and you have to step on it. Remember, you have to step on it, or it's not gonna count. You don't click on it, you step on it. And now we run. And we have to walk all the way back out here. Honestly, I almost find it worth it just to die here and walk all the way back to the pyramid to be able to take that short path back to the archaeologist. Because I'm basically going to use up half my potions just to get through that pathway of spikes again. Here we go. I don't want to mess up and accidentally kill myself, so I'm trying to... Test my HP there. Sometimes it looked like I could take another hit, but I wasn't gonna try it. The shamans in here are kind of annoying. They're pretty quick and they don't do a lot of damage, but they do have speed. There's rats in here too, but there's no reason to kill rats in here, really. Honestly, if you're gonna come here and train, you're not gonna train on rats. Uh, I think we're almost back to the main room. That was way too close. I forgot how many were in these passageways here. I think there's some in here, too. Is this the correct way? I think it was. This is the wrong way. I don't think there's anything in these rooms. The rooms that aren't don't lead somewhere usually just lead to a um dead end. If you have to stand on a spike, you want to hit. You want to stand on one. Hit spikes because they don't repeatedly come back up. Those ones that keep on going up, up and down, they'll do continuous damage to you if you're standing on the spot. Ow. Those are some pretty long spikes too. We're almost there, however, so... And of course the shaman's coming. Try and breathe fire on us. Come on, guys, get out of the way. I could probably kill him, but the sort of in a race against time here. I'm fairly sure I'm gonna die in here at some point, as my potions are running very low at this point. I came in here with what, 40 or 50, and I'm already down to 5. And basically, I used almost all of them to that one pathway to the worm room. And it used like at least 20 to get across the pathway of spikes. Alright, yeah. Now, you want to hang on to the old map at this point and give it to this guy, as you do need it. And he tells us that we have, that the words might be used in something like an altar or a pedestal or something like that. 
Now, we did see something that looked like an altar. Altar. And that's what I was talking about to pay attention to when we went through that area. Now we have to walk all the way back to there, but at least we don't have to go through, uh, the spike path again. I don't know if I'm actually gonna make it or not, to tell you the truth. With four potions. I might just die and collect some more and come back. I believe there's a higher form of health potion besides the normal one, but it's quite a bit, a bit expensive. If, well, the desert one might not be expensive if it's sold there. It's probably about the same amount that you would buy a normal health potion in the town's even town. Yeah, I died. So I grabbed some more potions, came back, and some guy, uh, he wanted help with the quest. He was hanging around the entrance to the pyramid, so I figured I'd help him out. I already showed him to the archaeologist, and I just started recording again now. Basically, I'm going to take him up to that. I'm going to take him to the altar and tell him how to get to the worm room, and then I'm pretty much going to let him go on his own. I think he's a priest, so he should be okay in here by himself. Although mana potions are actually a lot more expensive than health potions ever are. Okay, we're here. Um, let me go ahead and type out the instructions t for him. hope I can do this right, seeing as I'm terrible at directions. I think after I'm done with this quest, I'm going to, um, seeing as my health bar, seeing as my experience bar is almost halfway. And yeah, we just stood at the altar, that spot where that, uh, that spot was. I don't know what you would exactly call that. Where the world shook when I stepped on it. That's where we had to uh, be at. But like I was saying, my experience bar is basically almost halfway full, so I figured I'd probably fill it up and get to level 13 before we do our last quest. I don't know. That's basically the last quest I'm going to do for EO content. I don't know what Endless, Ed's, Endless Edge exclusive quest there are yet. I really don't know much about the exclusives of the server, so... But we are getting towards that... S Did I just go through the wall there? Anyways, um... I'm glad the spikes don't work in this room either. But yeah, we are getting towards the end of the EO content. Very close. After the fourth quest we do, pretty much all that's left to do is the castle maze.